Hey there! Welcome to Life Noggin. The world can have some pretty scary creatures in it. My goldfish here is a little cutie. Yes, you are, Bubbles. But you can find some pretty freaky aquatic life if you journey down into the deep sea. Let's take a look at some of these creatures and maybe learn a bit about how they evolved to be that way. To begin, let's go down into the ocean depths. Wow. Okay, it is pretty dark down here. Oh, cool. Thanks for the light. Wait a minute, that's no ordinary light. That is the bioluminescent glow of one of the scariest vampire-looking deep-sea dwellers, the anglerfish. You see, the female anglerfish's light comes from a piece of their dorsal spine that extends from their forehead. Like a built-in fishing rod, it glows with the help of a bunch of bioluminescent bacteria and lures the anglerfish's prey in close enough for them to have a little lunch. It's thought that the angling structure evolved from the spines of the fish's dorsal fin. And according to National Geographic, these underwater rascals have super big mouths and pliable bodies that allow them to gulp down prey bigger than they are. The only person I ever saw do that was Triangle Bob at the buffet last week. Haha. <laughs> Got, got him. Even though he may not have the same radiance, let's not forget about the male anglerfish. Far less intimidating than their female counterparts, male anglerfish are little guys that have evolved into permanent parasitic mates to their females. While you're off having fun in your younger years, these guys are busy latching on to the females with their sharp teeth. The male hooks up to his underwater wife's blood vessels and depends on her to get his nourishment. They even end up physically fusing together over time. And I thought you human couples were clingy. But the female anglerfish isn't alone in her glowing beauty. In fact, it's thought that the majority of the eukaryotic life that lives in the deep sea has bioluminescent capabilities. This includes other animals like the lanternfish and the dragonfish. While it may be hard to determine exactly why these animals have evolved to have certain capabilities like bioluminescence, enlarged fangs, or gaping mouths, their similar deep sea environmental extremes may have played Played a part. This could include conditions such as little to no penetrable sunlight and high atmospheric pressure. Further trying to understand bioluminescence in deep sea creatures, a recent study investigated the evolution of species specific bioluminescent structures in lineages of lanternfishes and dragonfishes. They show that deep sea fishes that have these structures, which may be used for communication, are diversifying into new species at a quicker rate than deep sea fish that use bioluminescence for things like camouflage or predation. These findings can potentially lead to a better understanding of just how evolution has shaped the modern day biodiversity in the deep sea. And I don't know about you, but I'd love a little light to follow me around to brighten up my world as long as it's not attached to that thing. So are there any more scary creatures of the deep sea that you want us to cover? Let us know in the comments section below. And if you enjoyed this video, then you're definitely gonna wanna check out our video about what's hiding deep in the ocean. We cover even more scary creatures in that video. These are massive, terrifying creatures with eyes the size of dinner plates and lengths greater than a school bus. And when it's time for them to eat, they capture their prey with their two long feeding tentacles, bringing it in towards their beak. As always, I'm Blocko, this has been Life Noggin, don't forget to keep on thinking.